Hi everybody, I'm back today with another look. I did a very smoky green kind of look. This would be great for the holidays if you have like a holiday party or something coming up. So, and I use very, very inexpensive products, so that is an added bonus. So, I hope you like it, and if you still want to see it, then here we go. First thing I'm going to do is use this NYX Jumbo Eyeshadow Pencil in Milk. It's just a matte white color. I'm going to over here and I'm just going to apply this on like the inner half of my lids. Okay. Then just take my ring finger and I'm just going to spread that out. You just want a really thin, even layer, because these are great, but if you put on too much, they will crease. Okay, the next shadow is this Wet n Wild single shadow. It's called Envy. It's a really pretty green. I'm just going to take an e.l.f. eyeshadow brush, get some of that on there, and I'm just going to pack this on over that white base. See how pretty it is? Just going to bring it up to the crease, but don't go past it. Notice too that I left this very inner corner undone. We're going to put another color there. Should have something like this. Next. I'm just going to take this really, really dark green. This is by NYX. It's called Exotic Green. It comes off in the pan as a really, really dark green with like some sparkle to it. I don't know if you can tell. But when you put it on, it just looks black. So you can just go ahead and use a black if you want. And I'm going to take my MAC 217 brush. This is just a fluffy blending brush. Get some of that on there. We're going to um, do our outer V. Okay. Start out with just a little bit of shadow on your brush. You can always go back and get more, but it's a lot harder to, like if you get too much on there, it's a lot harder to take it away. So just start out very, very lightly, and just add more if you need it. My dog's misbehaving. Okay. Next, either get a really fluffy, like another fluffy blending brush, or just use the same one and wipe it off really, really well. I'm just going to wipe it off on a tissue here. Try to get most of that dark color off of there. Next, I'm going to use my NYX um, eyeshadow palette. This is one of the Runway collections. It's in Champagne and Caviar. It's just a bunch of neutral colors. And I'm just going to pick, I think, this one. This really light tan. Tap off the excess, and I'm going to use that to blend out this harsh edge. So just go back and forth. So you have this all blended out. Okay, I'm just going to use this highlight color in this same palette, just this matte white color. 
use any brush. This is from CVS. Just put that underneath your brow. Now I'm going to take this CoverGirl Single Shadow in Champagne, just another um, really light shimmery color. I'm just going to use that same brush that I highlighted with. I'm going to sweep it over into that green, because remember we left that little um, inner corner open. And then just bring it down around your tear duct. you want you can also put some of this color and just under like the arch of your brow just for a little extra pop okay now we're going to work on our lower lash line so I'm going to take like a pencil brush again this is from CVS these are from Essence of Beauty it's a really good brand and I'm just going to go back to that lid color, the Envy. Get some on there, and I'm going to put this on the center of my lower lash line. Blend it into the white. Okay. Now, the exotic green. I'm just going to finish off our lower lash line. Connect it up here with the upper part. Now we're going to work on our eyeliner. I'm just going to use a pencil today. I'm going to use the Urban Decay 24-7 Glide On Eye Pencil in Zero. It's just a black. It's a mouthful. And I'm going to line my upper lash line. You don't have to be perfect with this. We're going to smudge it. I'm going all the way in with it. If you want, you can just kind of stop halfway. But make it thicker on this outer edge. And these, you have 30 seconds to smudge these. And then after that, they dry. That's no lie. They do. So I'm going to grab that pencil brush again. And it should still have a little bit of shadow on it. Um, and I'm just going to smudge this line just a little bit. It's just going to make it more of a smoky look. It'll be really pretty. Just very gently go over that line. Okay, I'm also going to line my waterline. That's this inner rim here. Like if you just, it's right above your lower lashes. So if you just very, very gently pull down a little bit, you can just line it there. And I'm going to drag a little bit right in between my lower lashes, just on the outer corner. All that's left to do for the eyes is our lashes. So I'm just going to go... Throw on some false lashes. I'm going to be using these. These are the Ardell Babies. They're kind of more of a natural lash. I really like them. I'm going to put those on. Just going to put on some mascara. I'm going to put mascara on my top lashes to kind of bind my real and fake lashes together. And I'm also going to put mascara on my lower lashes. And I'll be right back. Okay, so we're done with the eyes. And here is a closer look. smoky and green. This will be a good look for the holidays. Okay, now for the face. I'm going to use NYC bronzer and the color is Sunny. It's just a matte bronzer using my e.l.f. complexion brush. And I'm just very, very lightly just going to go kind of all over. Just 
to bring back a little bit of color in my face. That's about good. Now for my blush. I'm just going to use an angled blush brush. This is by Sonia Kashuk. And a NYX blush. And it's in the color Terracotta. And it's just a shimmery peachy color. I think this will go good with the green. And now for the lips, I'm going to use my NYX Round Lipstick in, I think it's called Cerse. I'm not exactly sure how to pronounce it, but it's just a nude lipstick. Since our eyes are kind of dramatic, I want to go with kind of a nude lip. And right over that, I'm going to use my NYX <laughs> Lip Gloss in Smoky Look just for a little bit of shine. Okay, there's the final look. Yeah, another look there. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you try it out. And I will see you later. This would be great for the holidays if you have a heart, um, shoot.